I'm pretty sure that I've done a video close to this one. Here's the nanocores, noobs. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Let's do it again. Because even though it seems simple, it's easy to forget some aspects of it. Let's go through the nanocores, how you get them, because they are important. Now what exactly are nanocores? Nanocores is like a ship implant that you put inside your ship that then personalize your ship in several ways. It will change how your ship behaves as well as giving it a different skin as a bonus. Remember that if you lose your ship but have enough insurance points, you will never lose this core. But you do need to reclaim it to get it back. A nanocore can never drop as a loot to others unless you fly with it in your hangar. Then it will probably drop to the first pirate that blows you up. What I personally love about nanocores is that it makes your ship different from other pilots. After equipping a nanocore you will have the options to change the colors through sliders. And before we go into nanocores too deep, I will just mention my in-game events that I host twice a month. This is called the nanocore competition, maybe you heard of it, maybe you have won the top prize. If not, then you can check out my older streams. 5 minutes per ship so you got time. Dude, why did I read that as a negative thing? Sheep speed running a nanocore competition would be interesting. Cannibal, you say ugly just because you wanna win. This is an extremely rare, rare skin. But why did you make it so ugly? We got a little Christmas thing going on here. A man's gotta work. And a man's gotta please his wife. In the nanocore event, I look at players nanocore's colored ships. And I tell what I feel about them and how good they resemble the theme that we have. And of course, picking a winner at the end of it. The winner usually get a billionaire ship or something of that kind. If you are interested in being a part of this, then make sure that you subscribe and click on that notification bell so that you don't miss out on when I host the next one. There is no need to have good stats, we only looking at the colors and skins. Nanocores does not need to be upgraded at all. Some people even join with just skins and some people even without. I'm not sure what they want to achieve with that, but you can navigate through my live streams and watch what it's all about before joining your first one. We have a great time. It is kinda like my hang with the boys and, and ladies of course. And if Netties knew about this event, they would probably sponsor it for sure. A sick space hugger skin would be insane to give out to winners. What were we talking about? Ah, the difference between a nanocore and a skin. Well the skin without the nanocore is essentially just a skin. This of course give your ship a different look, but everyone else with the same skin will look the same as you. You can combine a skin with a nanocore and then you do have the ability to not only change the nanocore color, but also choose the skin that you own to recolor that one. This makes your skin different from everyone else, even people with the same skin. I'm calling this personalizing your ship. This is of course not the only thing that nanocores does. It also gives you bonuses. And this is why we have them, am I right? <laughs> of course not. It's to make your ship look badass. Shit, I think I need some sleep. Depending on the nanocore, you will get more or less bonuses added to your ship. For example, the green core will give about half the power as a purple one. The blue core gives even more than the green. And the purple one gives double stats as the green. Almost. Well, it's actually more like 25% difference. So I was just as much wrong as I was right. The colors you can change on with the green and the blue core is very limited. With those you are only able to change one area of the ship. With the purple one you have many free areas that you can customize. Making your ship glitter like any 7 year old school book. Before we get into how we get our hands on these sparkly love machines. I would like to say that not all nano cores are the same. Some are very different while some are extremely good. Others are also very bad. Check out my nano core video where I go through which core are good for which ship. I will have that one coming up at the end of this one. Nanocores are essential to boost your ships in a few ways. Mostly and generally it boosts damage and tank. But some cores have special features that actually changes your ship a lot. Ships can be almost impossible to scramble or disrupt. Some ships have extra capacity or can avoid different abilities like webbing. Some even have built in afterburners. But there is many many more. You should look into it. Since EVE Echoes have less diversity than EVE Online on their ships, I think this is great that we can change our ships up a bit. There's also some nanocores that would be considered overpowered. And even if I agree, I don't think it is as big deal as compared to some other mechanics in this game, but the Death Wish and the Beat Core are actually quite bad for the game. 
they got built-in warp core stabs, and less losses in this game is bad for the game. If only this were implemented better. And yes, I have videos about that too. In fact, I have 300 videos filled with information about almost anything in EVE Echoes. The browser on my channel, you might even find the unclaimed ship giveaways that still have not been found in several of them. But how do you acquire nano cores? If you are new to this game and still watch this video, and you didn't leave to get the free ships in the other videos, then the easiest way to get nano cores is in fact the Concord Pass. The free version gives about half a battleship nano core every new pass. The two month or so would net you a purple nano core of choice. And if you want a smaller nano core, for example frigates or destroyers, you probably have enough Concord points after the first month. The paid one gives, of course, twice as much points and even more stuff. The Concord Pass have a few cores that comes and goes. The Ascension Core is a basic core that ain't too bad for any ships. And I would advise anyone to get this as your first core. The Trailblazer is another one that frequently have been popping up in Concord. And I would argue this one is a little bit better. So if that's on the list, then I would pick that one. Other ways to get nano cores is through market. Unfortunately, you can only still trade the green and the blue ones. And I don't think they are worth it, so grab one from the Concord Pass. Until Netis finally let us trade the purple nano cores, that they actually have been hinted to, at least. Another way to get nano cores is to build them through engineering. This is expensive and it's only 30% chance to succeed, and I would not advise you to this. But there are some special cores that you can be lucky to acquire with this method. If you play this game for a long time, you might have a lot of nano cores. I personally have a lot of them for different purposes and different ships. And yes, I have several Vindicator ones. As someone pointed out, a good eye man. My nano cores are like my clothes. I use different ones for different purposes. And eventually you might have cores that you don't need anymore. Then there is other stuff that you can do. But this stuff is not possible for every core. But for most core from back in the days and Concord Pass usually does work. What you can do is reprocess them into nanocore materials that you use to upgrade your other nanocores. Secondly, you can repackage and reverse it into the original box, making you able to change the same core for another ship of your choice. This does demand nanites, you know the stuff that we literally can't see. Where can I actually see how many I have? Where can I see where they are? This you can only get from buying Omega through real money, unfortunately. Yeah, we still can't see them. If someone know, can you please let me know in the comments. The last thing that you can do with nanocores that you don't use is to extract the power from them so that they can be used with your AI nanocore. This is the orange legendary nanocore that you see people have. The core is just like the purple one, but it also has a secondary upgradable bonus page. On this page, you can then choose attributes that you have, let's call it harvested, from other nanocores. Now you might wonder what the AI core is and I do have a video on that one as well. But I will briefly touch on this subject here. The AI nanocore is an upgraded version of a purple nanocore and to do this you need an amount of tesseracts. The exact amount depends on the ship and the core you upgrade. And doing this to a purple core will not make you be able to let the AI fly your ship. But it will prepare the ship to be used by AI once you activate the AI on your account. This also costs tesseracts one time Tesseracts, you might wonder, where do I get them? Well, you get them from Concord Pass. You can also get it through events and through the Nano Collection in the Exchange Store. I would advise you to use Concord Points that you have left over or don't need to buy keys. Here you can get both materials and cores and even the elusive Tesseracts for the AI core. So taking a core for example, the materials you need for upgrading the stats also comes from giveaways, Concord Pass and the Nano Collection. The first upgraded attribute on every core is 100% success when upgraded, but then becomes less and less, and the times that you have to feed the core materials does increase each time. For a solid upgraded nano core I would say have it to at least 3. The level 4 is a lot more expensive and of course, even more expensive the further you go. There are a few nano cores that are worth going to 5 or even 6, and one of them is for example the Cyber X core. At level 5 you will get an extra mid slot on your ship. This core is not available anymore, but I'm sure that there will be others in the future with maybe an extra low slot or similar. To note here is that a Cyber X core was not a free to play core. Sometimes we have events with AUR or Plex for boxes with cores. And I don't really think those are bad. 
but there are those events where there is a chance to get what you want for AUR or PEX, and I feel those are less okay. It's always okay with a chance to get something amazing, but when that amazing thing not really is amazing, but just expensive, it's not that fun. So keep an eye out for those nasty events. Now this cleared up some nanocore questions that I got and as I say, check the video where I go through all the nanocores that are good for what ships. And get a nanocore guys, do not be a noob. And join my nanocore competition and I see you guys again. Have you been on the internet again? It costs a lot of money. <laughs>